So. Now oh, the laundry and the pantry are swap places. The crafty fools. Yeah, this is the proper map. This is why I said it. It looked, it looks correct, but obviously that was an older style of map, not the one that from the um, book I was running from. Anyway, you now have a map. Not that, of course, you know that. <laughs> Okay, you arrive back in. Um, you arrive back in Gamwell. The rain is now thundering down. Thunderstorms almost overhead. You reckon? Great idea! This is a state of bloody mansion. Well, you're kind of feeling that way now. Your uh, boots are soaking through. Yeah, you can really do a bath. <laughs> do I have washing machines at the place? Didn't see any obvious ones. All right, change of clothes have to be then. Is Connor and Debbie here? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, Debbie. You got super quiet, Connor. Yep, I'm here. Okay, no. that's fine. Just making sure everyone was here and we weren't just starting without <laughs> you. Okay. Um, the door to the boarding house. Um, it's just you. Where you going? You're not going anywhere else at this point, are you? Nah. Okay. Um, the boarding house, um, there's nobody at the desk when you enter. The um, areas are lit with um, old gas lamps. Is anybody going to be doing anything at night, or are you just going to rest up for under eye clothes and... Actually, the sheriff's, we... sheriff's office in that locked at this point. Or, uh, you I guess... don't know. The sheriff, Something the sheriff would have walked back in front of you. Uh, just about heard Connor there, actually. Sorry. Well, I think we should go over the newspaper clippings. I think we Connor, you're being really, really quiet. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I can hear you talking, but that's about it. Yeah. Um, I think we should possibly break into the sheriff's office. He seems a bit shady. <laughs> like, he knows more than he's letting on. I don't break he into pointed a gun at us just for being in an abandoned house, and you want to break into his office? Yes. Are you nuts? Hey, good luck. Just, I know this. I know this may come like sort of naturally to you, but um, until we know what's going on better, I don't want to cause any trouble. He'll know who to come after for breaking into his office. Not if we're we the don't only new people in town. He's a well, sheriff. Whether he knows to go after whoever he knows who did it or not, I think it's quite likely he'll come for us. <laughs> Fine. All I wanted to see the sheriff's office for is to leave the two dollars on his desk. You wanna break in to leave two dollars on his chair? Well, I wanted, I didn't know if it was gonna be locked or not. I guess we'll just do it in the morning. I feel like we should just sleep. Okay. Yeah, probably. I've not really got anything else on me, so yeah. No wounds or anything for anyone. Okay. Yep. So no, no actions for um, no actions while I'm sleeping. Sorry. Oh, well, I'm gonna try and read through the book that I got. Okay. Um, I think I already pinged the um, the contents of that over. No, because I didn't read it, so you stopped it. Okay, no worries. Um. Well, you gave the title and things, but not the... Yeah, I didn't give you the um, the little image thing. Uh, let me just find that again. Are you, um... I'm going to share what's in the book with us as well. Yeah, well, I'd imagine I'm going to do this whilst in my room, so it would be in the morning. Right. Okay, uh, recent places... I'm just trying to find out where the heck I put this down thing. Because amazingly, I've lost it again. <laughs> oh, files. Oh. I know, they're amazing. <laughs> like magnets. They are. Fails are definitely amazing, like when I failed a roll, and you failed a roll. Uh, okay, there you go. So, um, the book is The Missing People, um, A Tribe That the Jungle Swallows by Thomas Pratt, published in 1913. Um, 
The book concerns a South American tribe in ancient times whose existence is testified to by various ruins, but of whose demise nothing is known. The book is based on legends of a tribe and archaeological discoveries. Pratt makes note of the tribe's religious fervor and conjectures that they may have been wiped out in a civil holy war of some kind. Um, he mentions a particular great dome depicted in carvings and art. He believes that this was an actual stone structure, that it probably still stands, and it may well house for last secrets of the missing people. So where is this book found? This is the book that um, was brought back by um, by Benny. Yeah, From the sheriff's office? No, from the branch library. It was the, o- the library. it was the only okay. open book when you went into the library earlier. Okay. Um, we never broke into the sheriff's office. Since so. you're awake and I see everybody else is asleep, can I have a spot hidden roll from you? Yeah, sure. One moment. I thought I was awake looking over newspaper clippings. Well, no, you would need the the um the okay, thing I... shut. He only had, he only brought out the one newspaper. I rolled fifty seven again. Yeah, so I found. Right, so I passed. Okay. Um, there's something on the roof across the street. The li- the lightning illuminates a dark figure moving across. Oh God! Um, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm definitely gonna try and work it out. I'm gonna try and stay hidden and see what it is. It's, uh... it's a hamburger. Okay. Good thing we don't have any ha- hamburgers. <laughs> you wait um, for the next lightning flash. And when this one comes in, whatever it is is gone. And you, can I work that it was like humanoid? Try to remember what you um try to remember what you barely half saw. Um, it looked like something was streaking across the roof. It didn't look human. It it put you in mind of plant tentacles for some reason, or they were creeping vines or something, just sweeping across. That's creepy. But you're not 100% sure if now if you've seen it or not. Or whether your mind's just playing tricks on you in the dark. Well, I guess I'm going to probably Make a sanity up. check. <laughs> I knew that was coming. 47 against... I think it was 45. Is that a fail? Yeah, yeah fail. Make me an idea roll. Oh, 11 against 70. Okay. <laughs> right, I'll roll for the sanity loss first because that's the easy bit. Let me guess, <laughs> he understood what he saw? He kind of does. You only lose one sanity. And you gain a single point of Cthulhu Mythos. Oh god, why do I keep finding horrifying things? <laughs> <laughs> you... You didn't exactly see what it was, but something was stretching over the town. It was only oh, a casual God. half glance, but something has the town within its reach. You understand that. And it Yeah, whatever's Fair here. The fuck out of me. Whatever's here has the town in its grasp. Somehow. You don't I've... know how you know that, but you know that. Yeah, I guess um, I step an action, another hour because I'm scared shit. That's keep yeah, my you own. don't get to sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah, I keep my but, gun loaded. <laughs> but you see no other um, shapes or mysterious things in the lightning. The um, the storm eases off, but it's still raining heavily when dawn breaks. Okay, I guess um, I go and meet the other group in the. Um, where breakfast is served and they get mm. done. You arrive at 6am for um, for a fairly sizable breakfast, actually. Probably easy to say that I look fucking tired. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, there was lightning all night, um, thunder for most half of the night, but most of you had a pleasant night's rest. Except for the dumbass who read the book. <laughs> <laughs> So we all in the room. Yeah, you're all in the um, you're all in basically the breakfast room. So I guess I'm just gonna, I guess I'll quickly outline the book's details. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll and, you explain that. Yep, yeah. And then, well, guys, I saw something. I saw something last night. I don't know what it was. 
It, That's helpful. It was. <laughs> shut up a second and let me explain before I shoot you because I've not had any sleep. <laughs> it, do you remember the vines in the mansion? Yeah. Imagine uh, that yes. taking on the form of something that could move like a human. What are you talking about? I swear to God, I saw something on the roofs last night. What time sure of the night? Maybe you were hallucinating. Late. I did. No, I'm not fucking around. I saw something. Then again, maybe we should mm. give him the benefit of the doubt because that bed and that guy. <laughs> yeah, that's why you couldn't sleep. It was the bed. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, you remember the I feel you guys now as a fear of beds. I, I feel as if something, something, is wrong with this town. So it's well, that's a, obvious. Well, I saw this yeah, we're here. tentacle thing, and it looked like it was grasping the town. It was grasping the town. It just—I can't explain it, but it feels as if. Something's got this town under a dark sway. Mm. Huh. Can I do some psychology roll on him? Psychoanalysis is helping with um, sanity loss, so it'll be psychoanalysis. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to help him with his sanity loss. I'm trying to work out, like, um, I'm trying to find out, like, what's he speaking from. Like, okay, make a psychology ro roll. Trying to find out how nuts he is? <laughs> Basically. All right, no. <laughs> you failed. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you can't glean anything. Super Doctor <laughs> is not so super. I, I told you, you I, I d not, I'm not good at psychology. That's what. That's that's what. Uh, um, uh, what's his face supposed to be here for? He may or may not be dead <laughs> in the hospital. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I'm not talking around, guys. I saw something. Keep an eye out. I don't like this town. Just, just as a side note, does that mean he's Schrodinger Zelly? Technically, yeah. Kafuli <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, but I'd just basically outline it. Okay. And sound insane, but I give them the idea. Well, we will be on the lookout for walking plant things. I'm just. Are you talking about <laughs> grasping the uh, town? At I'm this just point, wondering... Hank walks in. Yeah. Well, will you guys be wanting seconds? I imagine you'll be staying in most of the day. The storm's not let up very much. It's going to be lasting a, few, a while, if I'm any judge. Mm -hmm. I think we still have to head out. We do it's, have work uh, to do. I, uh, I you be careful. Is it the sheriff? No, this is Hank. Hank's the... Um, he's the guy so. He's, the, he's yeah. one of the owners of the boarding house. I know, I, I just said I have to visit I, the sheriff. I keep an eye on Hank. I, I'm now very fearful of the citizens of... Yeah, he seems to... jolly and jovial enough. He's certainly less intimidating than his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't always the case, isn't it? <laughs> That's always how it goes. Yeah. It might do. <laughs> She's more likely to whack you with a broom. Well, you've seen her um, kneading bread for... and So she's got a rolling pin, actually, because she's doing bread at the moment. So it's more likely to be that. Ah, uh, true. <laughs> He eats the dough. You're gonna eat the dough? Oh, she eats the dough. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, why you got what business you got with the sheriff? I Sorry? may owe him two dollars. <laughs> uh, I don't think the sheriff's a gambling man. What did you do? Break one of his item, one of his um, shoes or something? I shot lock off of the area we were supposed to go to. I roll my eyes because I know how suspicious the he's making himself sound. <laughs> I'm not going to kick you onto the table. Hold on, you mean the uh, you mean the Fitzgerald place? We yeah. were permitted entry, so he figured that they just hadn't given us the keys. Well, you could have just asked for the keys, I suppose, but yeah, I don't know. He's not the brightest candle. <laughs> well, just don't go damaging anything up there. It's pretty. What's left already. to damage? <laughs> well, I might need some repair and maintenance, but you know. That's a bit still, our guys, still, our guys home. 
And I'm sure we're when, Alfred, I'm sure when Alfred gets back here after whatever trek he's gone on, um, he'll want to see everything in good repair, mm -hmm. or at least as good a repair as it can be, considering. Yeah, I suppose we're going to go up there again today and see what we can find. Uh, as I say, you just be careful. Thank it's you. A strange night. Mm -hmm. Strange night. He walks off. Strange night. Yeah, it was a straight sea. <laughs> Weird shit going on, guys. <laughs> Alright, we're heading he off. To off. We're going to head off to the sheriff's now, guys. This Ooh, might what? be the rain. Is there any oh. other notable location in town that we heard about? I um, think we should go to the full list of things. There is the uh, sheriff's office slash fire station. There uh, was mention of an ice cream. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fire axe. Uh, Fire there's station. a newspaper office, the Fire? town library, several small shops, um, just just local things, should. really. And the rest I of think we should housing. go to the sheriff's office. <laughs> oh. you get some ice cream to restore our sanity. <laughs> there's also the graveyard as well, actually, but that's slightly outside of town. Yeah, I, guess I wouldn't eat this town's ice cream. I think we should all go to the sheriff's shop. I uh, go to the sheriff's place. I do want to make a detour to grab a light shop, though. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, just buy a simple light, whatever it costs. Okay, you um, matches or a flash, an actual flashlight. I'll go for a flashlight. Okay, I'll let you know how much that is when I actually find the book again. <laughs> All right, no worries. But you, you bought it, no worries. When we get to the sheriff's office, I want to slip out while the other three are going to see the sheriff to see um, to just have a look around the firehouse and see if there's anyone I can talk to in The there. sheriff's office and the firehouse are basically the same building. I know, which is why I can just slip away from the group for just a few minutes. What I mean is there's only one entrance. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you have to go one way inside the door to the sheriff, the other way to the firehouse, right? Not necessarily. You don't know about going in. He did say they look like the same building. They are the same building. <laughs> we, so they all we won't be surprised off. to find that the sheriff is the fireman. He probably is. It's a small town, and there's not much uh, call for it. If you, you know, it's a town of fifty, sixty, seventy people. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's not surprised he's probably doubling up on a few jobs. All right. um, you see Sheriff Whitford, um, who looks at almost as bad as um, as Benny does. Actually, like he hasn't slept a lot last night. Ah, uh, it's you people again. What trouble you caused now? Um, none, sir. I just came to put the two dollars on your desk. Well, thank you very much. Is there anything else I can help you with? Any other locks you want to shoot off? Not yet. Do you have a rough yes, night, Sheriff? Yeah, I always have a rough night. Every time I go, every time I go out that place, I have a rough night. Not as any of your business, mind. It seems a few of us having a rough night, so. You see a few toddlers chopped up with an axe, you're gonna have to do some nights, so you're gonna lose sleep over it. You're right, there are scumbags on this place. If I, knew where Alfred was, if I knew where Alfred was, I'd shot him already. What do you want, anyway? Hey, we'll just come and give you your money before we head off. Well, then, off you go. I got no business with you anymore. Oh, I don't. Do I... Hmm? Sorry, go ahead. Okay. I was asking, do I remember which building I saw the glimpse over? Because it's a giant um, window, isn't it? It probably would have been the library, actually. Or possibly, um, because it's sort of connected things up there. It might have been Town Hall, the Town Library. It might even have been the Attorney's Office. Yeah, um. Go, before we go out, guys, I want to find out if there was any markings left by whatever I saw. I want to see if I'm not going insane. Should we head up to the roof and have a look if we can? I'm assuming you're not discussing this plan in front of him. <laughs> no, no, outside, away from Yeah, him. no worries. Um, well, you is can there go even a way onto the roof? Right. <laughs> There's a fire escape on the town hall. You could probably get up. I guess I'm definitely going to go because 
I want to make sure I'm not going insane. I don't like the look of the slipperiness of that. I'm not going. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm sorry, my internet cut out a bit. What did I miss? Uh, not much. He's going. He's going to climb up a fire escape on the um, the town hall and just check the roofs to see if there's anything there. That's Benny. He's doing that, by the way. I'll go with him, just to make sure he doesn't hurt himself <laughs> with okay. that bad leg and all. Okay. You climb up to the top of the town. The um, effectively top of the town hall. Can I have a spot hidden roll from both of you? Sure. Ooh, I rolled uh, a seven. Seven's good. I rolled a seven as well. Wow. <laughs> seven's good. <laughs> um, you both notice nothing out of the ordinary. Certainly nothing that um, that Benny at least is thinking he's going to see up here. I mean, there are there are there is a bit of uh, moss, but that's just from. That could just be anything. You don't think that's out of the ordinary on the top of a roof. Yeah, so we spot nothing at all. Hmm. Huh. Eh, uh, well, if we don't see anything at all, uh, I guess we head back down. See it's because it's hiding in plain sight. <laughs> if you failed the spot hidden check, you would have seen the obvious things, and you'd have found it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to climb back down. Okay. And that's the others. Do you two want to have a look? Because we couldn't see anything. No, it doesn't have as much point to doing so then. If you don't want to look, then we probably get some action. They were spooked about last night, though. Okay. Well, he said it's like the vines at the mansion, so we're going to find any, any sort of tracks was, of this thing. This is probably yeah. going to be where we're going to go if we're looking for it. It was what I could relate to. It was just it was like big tentacle things. Alright, okay. still raiding, right? We're going to head up to the mansion. <laughs> Okay, the raining is eased off a little bit, but it's still, it's fairly, yeah, it's still coming down. Um, you walk up past the graveyard towards the, um, towards the mansion. And, yeah, basically there. Um, you back up where the, um, through the ornamental garden. It's still giving you the creeps, um, All of us. some of the exotic plants, and certainly around the shed, when you, as you notice it walking past it. There's something, there's something wrong there. Would you guys actually investigate around here before the sheriff interrupted us last night? We looked in the shed. It's it's weird. We I don't like the feel of it. Well, did, did you actually it, find anything in there? We found two. We found an empty fire Xbox, and <laughs> that's relatable to those murdered twenty years ago, wasn't it? Never said fire axe, but yeah, definitely it did have said axe cuts and no murder weapon found. So it's possible. And that shed looked awfully overgrown and neglected. It, the tired place looks like that, though. Yeah, but the shed more so. Do you guys want to have a quick look again before we go through? It's going to take about like, two minutes to have a look. Maybe okay. we missed something yesterday. Sure. I want to go back to where I saw those bones again. Now it's in I'm, daylight. I'm going to go okay. toward the shed. I'm going to go to the shed. Um, okay, so I'll resolve what deal happens with Dylan um, in a moment. So the rest of you are then going to the shed. Yeah. Okay. Um, the door's still ajar, and there's still the same... ominous presence. You almost feel like you're being watched. Can I look around, look around the surrounding and see if I can... It's slightly, um, I mean, the, the tr there's a bit of tree cover here, so it is darker than it is uh, otherwise, but it's, it's still well lit enough. You think you'd spot if somebody was watching you, but you still get that sense something is. Six sense playing up. You all kind of get the feeling that a slight, yeah, ner nerves on the back of your neck are going, something's watching you. Well, if we don't spot anything, nothing for research, I guess we we'll go back to where the um, thing is. At least I will. Let's do that. Hmm. Okay. Okay, Dylan. Uh huh. Um, as you um, as you move up to the area, you notice um, you notice a small cat running away. You spook the cat, and it's run off um, towards the mansion, the back of the mansion. 
but um, the bones aren't there. Uh, can I walk around to the back of the mansion? Um, give me a moment, actually, on this one. I have an idea roll from you, um, Dylan. Yeah. Uh, failed by two points. Mm. Okay. There's something off off around you, but you're not sure what it is. The cats... Thinking of the cats reminding you of it for some reason. The others now... The others follow up behind you. Okay. I I just saw a cat, guys. I mean... <laughs> I don't really get any answers out of it or anything, but it's the only living thing we've seen around here. <laughs> Where'd it go? Uh, around yeah. the back of the house. Um, Do you guys check around there yet? Debbie? No, not yet. Yeah. Just a bit of a recall. Um, the idea from yesterday where you still can't hear any animals or see any traces of any animals, that's still very much applying. That cat is the only animal you've seen anywhere near this house. Okay. Over either today or yesterday. I mean, it's raining, so you'd expect things to be... Um, there won't be a lot of movement, but that cat's mm-hmm. the only thing. Okay. What's the cat doing exactly? Just walking it, around? Oh, uh, Dylan just scared it off, and it just ran towards the house. Anyone it was in the animals? No, it was, where, it was over in the bushes where I was looking. Oh, okay. My, my family had a few cats mm. when we were younger. Everyone, you lead the way, then. The well, cat the cat feels fine running into the house, so... Hmm. I ran around the okay, back, I don't know where it's gone. Lead everyone around back. Okay. Um, let me just find out where that is. Because I never actually checked the back either, so... Okay, you see a smaller um, back door, which you would guess probably leads into the kitchen or a mudroom or something, or a servant's entrance around the back. Um, you also notice... Um, where are we? Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to find the exact little bit of info on this. Which may or may not be relevant, but it's still part of the description for the house. It's not in the right place, is it? Oh, there we go. Right. Um, you see the back windows. They're um, they're shuttered still um, around the back as well. And you notice a pair of wooden hatches, which give access to what you guess would be a wood or a coal cellar. No, I am not going down there. Um, make a track roll, anybody who has that skill. Does that mean everyone? Because or well, I presumably you have an automatic. But if anybody's got track skill, they want, might want to roll here. I'm gonna oh, roll anyway, six. just for the fact Fair. that I might be able to get it. All right. track. Uh, Debbie, what'd you say? I got a six, and I have a thirty-one percent. Okay. Um, you see wheel and tire marks near the area of it. Um, you also notice that one of the hatches has a small five inch hole maybe through it um, there are some odd vines protruding from it hmm hey guys come look at this I try that will mm-hmm. okay um, yep you can point out the um, the tire tracks um, probably old tire tracks it's been a well used thing mm-hmm, probably um, and but also it's the... odd to have plant life coming out of the house rather than into Tire tracks. Is it a salt dumping dump truck? <laughs> <laughs> Amazingly enough, a track skill isn't good enough to work that out because nobody's would be. <laughs> <laughs> work out how fresh it is. Uh, at least a couple of months old. It's just a well used area, so it's been used quite a lot and it's not paved at all. So you can tell it's been used for that. Yeah, cars have been there, but how long ago is anybody's guess, really? So do you guys want to go down to the spooky fucking cellar again? Mm-hmm. Because that's usually the way to, de- you know, bad things. I say we check the cellar. I mean... Uh, it's never been anything bad in my cellar. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there isn't. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm suspicious. You gonna open it up? The only thing that was in my family cellar was wine. Who's opening this door, then? I'll open the door. 
Okay. Oh, are you like the super weak guy from the door? <laughs> the um. Yep, the door opens. Um, you see into a great mound of wood and sawdust, on which there are a number of unusual vines and creepers growing all over it. Um, can I have a natural history or a biology roll, depending on which one you've got this better? From just him. From any, from all of you. Okay. I'll you can all see into it. It's, it's lit enough that you can see into it. I failed. Yes. Jesus. Okay, David so, succeeds. Uh, <laughs> yep, I've got... Uh, let's see, natural history roll. Yeah, I natural failed history. I failed with, with the 71. <laughs> okay, Debbie. I have an 8, and I have 50% natural history. These um, vines and creepers are native to South America, and they should not be growing in this environment. Hmm. I share that information. You see, with the um, guys. down into the wood cellar, there is a do- there is a door which um, presumably leads into a proper basement area. Okay. Um, the the area on the ground looks damp, but you don't know because obviously from a door whether that's normal. Okay. But with a plant, uh, if you imagine, it's probably been leaking in for some time. And of course, with plant life is moisture. Okay, I share this information with the guys. Mm-hmm. Gonna try and open the door at the back of the wood cellar? Slowly, but yes. Okay. The door doesn't budge. Hmm. Locked from the inside. Is there a lock on the door? Um. It doesn't say. And so I guess so. Hold on, let me actually make a quick. I'm trying to remember the tables now. Mm-hmm. I'm using Hackmaster tables for this door, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, the door does not have a lock. Okay. It might just be stuck. It could be warped or it might have stuck on it. It might have metal bars on it again. Shall we see if we... Mm. Well, there's, there's no lock. It's just a normal sort of door, so... Does it open our way or does it go go inside? Um, it's it, not budging. It <laughs> doesn't budge when you pull and not when you push either. Hmm. Are there try? any cracks in the door to peek through? No. Is there anything coming out from underneath the door? Uh, no. All right, well, before we attempt to shoot this thing down, uh, <laughs> let's see if we find our way in, maybe. Does it have a key? <clears throat> no, there's no key. There's hole. no lock. There's no lock. Is this just like, is this a separate, like, atta- like separate detached thing from the house? Well, it's, you, you'd guess this has been, this is the wood cellar, which connects into presumably a basement area. Okay, so we might have to find our way into it. There's, you'd, you'd guess there'd be another way in. It makes what about no- the hinges? Are they on our side or the other side of the door? Couldn't say. Are on the other side. Ah, nuts. Well, there's presumably no way to get into this room without damaging it. So you've got no track of the cat either, right? So you came back here? No, you can't find any um, trace of the cat. Okay, is there a back door in the house? Yeah, there was a back door. Yeah, this is just okay. the wood cellar you noticed um, around there. Right, I'm gonna start moving towards the house. I guess I'll follow since I got the key. Oh no. Um, okay, I have the key. The back door for a, I'm just looking at the map I showed you leads into the kitchen. Expired food stuffs, I imagine. Um, are you going in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, it seems fairly well maintained. Um. You see, in this room, there is a door which, presumably, since you can't really go anywhere, has to lead down to the cellar. Um, Other than that, you see a series of metal canisters on the shelf um, for flour, sugar, tea, coffee. Um, Door to the cellar. uh, Um, Can I have a track roll from, from you as well? I passed. You passed the track roll. 
Have a tick. Nine. Oh, <laughs> Debbie, also have a tick, because I don't think I gave you one earlier for that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, I play fair my AD biology, but I passed my 10% track. <laughs> Sometimes it works like that. Um, you spot some white powdery stuff near the cellar door. Inside the kitchen? Yeah. I mean, it's been... The, the floor's a little damp, but it seems as if there's almost a line of white particles. Mm. Um... Anyone good with chemistry? Can anyone work out what this is? Yeah, I'm good with chemistry. Okay. I open up. I want to open up the flower tin and just see if there's any flour in it, and just like give a sniff to um, see if it actually is flour. There is, and it definitely smells like flour. Okay. Um, make an it. idea roll, Debbie, since you're examining that. Okay. Seventy-two. Is that a pass for you? And- uh, yep, it's below 85. Okay. There's an obvious gap. There's no container for salt. Hmm. Uh, Connor, you wanted a chemistry roll, didn't you? Uh, yeah, a chemistry roll? Okay. Yep. Um, Try to identify what the substance I is. I got a 42, and I have a 71% in chemistry, so that's a pass. Well, pharmacy actually helped You're with that. absolutely certain it's table salt. Okay, so that's table salt. There's a gap in the kitchen supplies. There's no salt in here. Well, it's on the ground, and I'm pretty sure it probably came from that dunk truckload that was mentioned. But it never could have shown How would it? Why would it be in the kitchen if it came it from the dump truck? It wasn't. It was a range. It was trying to be a range, but it wasn't delivered. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you know it wasn't delivered. It was, was, was awaiting the um. You know from um. From what's his name? <laughs> Dodge. Dodge. The, Do- the Dodge brother. That um, he arranged it, but he hadn't paid for it yet, so it hasn't been delivered. Okay. And he I was mean, trying to order. This isn't it. exactly a dump truck load of salt. <laughs> no. And e- even assuming some of it's dissolved away, there's not a lot at all. It might even just. Fill, it might even just have been spilled near the door. Different. You don't know. <laughs> Truck salt and table salt is different. <laughs> well, no, it was a truck full of table salt. So. <laughs> Never delivered. Okay. So, is the salt was found on the door to the cellar, was it? It's near the door to the cellar, yeah. Do you hmm. guys want to go down to another creepier cellar? Why not? It should I be don't, the same but cellar, I guess it's it? over and done. Only I could say thump thump at this point, but I can't. Well, I would run. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do you want to get paid or not, Benny? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Such a mercenary. Okay. <coughs> the um, door doesn't budge. Hmm. Is there a lock in the store? No. Is the hinge on this door on our side? It opens inwards. You... Grr. Who well, built this house? <laughs> we do have an option. I don't think I'm going to like this, Lazarus. We could... Let's use Lazarus as a battering ram. Please don't. <laughs> we could attempt to shoot the door off. Oh, well, we remind you that Dodge wanted um, your payment was contingent on the house being yes, undamaged. Yeah, I look ready to shoot. This, it. Is, water damage, this is coming out of your I'll just pet. say this: water damage could be understandable. Gunshot um, damage, probably not. Yeah, if you shoot the door, this is coming out of your cut. <laughs> well. It's an option we can consider. I don't. I don't think so. Until it's necessary, I don't want to upset anyone. Particularly with the sheriff on our asses. We know that the cellar is secure, so how about we search the rest of the place? True. Yeah, I don't think anything's going to be coming out of that. Okay. Are there any laundry chutes in the kitchen? No, that there's, go down to the there's also a laundry room because you can see the map. <laughs> but um, there's a door well, across from the kitchen into a, um, yeah. into a laundry room. There's no laundry chutes or anything leading down. Hmm. What about any ventilation for the kitchen coming down to the cellar? 
Nope. No, no pipe. Pretty sealed up tight. Yeah. Well, there might be there might, there might be crawl spaces and things, but either way, you don't have access to them right now. Okay. okay. I suppose we're going to take another glance around the kitchen of this night. We're going to go to the door in front of us. The door thing, I guess. Okay. Um, there's lots of empty, disused tubs with um, yeah, with just um, a few bits of clothing actually in the match. Strangely. Um, they've rotted through um, the damp, but um, definitely clothing. There's a linen closet as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep, that's all the information there for the moment. What, what kind of clothing is there in the basin? Uh, well, fairly pricey stuff by the look of it, but ruined now. Is it men's or women's, men's. or children's? Men's. It's all mouldy. Yeah. <laughs> Is it yeah, the, the um, by the way, just so you're not confused, the family was murdered 20 years ago. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So right. he's lived in the house for a reasonably long time. You don't know how long because you haven't looked it up yet, but he's lived Can in the house. Did he tell us? Hmm? Tell you when he moved in? He didn't tell you when he moved in, no. Well, hmm. you know, his family was murdered 20 years ago, and he moved in after that point. But you don't have the exact date yet. Hmm. Is there any water left in the sink or the basins? Well, is there any actually water connected to the house? There isn't. Um, there are taps, of course, point. but the, um, there isn't any water in this basin. Okay. But it does have running water. Mm. The house. You can try the taps. Well, that's what I was saying. But... Okay. Well, I'll try the taps. Um, it squeaks open and no water comes out. Hmm. I guess there's a door next to the laundry room to the hallway, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. The there's also the laundry um, closet, the linen closet you haven't opened either, but... Oh, oh, sorry. Um, but no. you don't have to open it if you don't want to. No, 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 I didn't notice. I'm opening the linen closet. Okay. Immediately a load of um, towels and bedding falls onto your head. <laughs> the bed's attacking again! <laughs> <laughs> He's got to make a sanity check. No, nah, no sanity check for this. He's just covering sheets. It's a ghost. He's Get in down. a laundry room. He's he's just over the linen closet and things are falling out. And none of that's unexpected. It's annoying, but it's not unexpected. I think I think I'm gonna stand there for a few minutes, endure the flashbacks. Think of this. Well, the bed didn't have sheets that attacked you. I know, but it's related to beds. I'm freaking out, man. <laughs> And then I casually walk out and discard it. It's not the idea of bed, it's just the idea of things moving in his direction. <laughs> That's the uh, So, yeah, I, I go for that door and that leads to the hallway. Okay. You're back into the hallway. You now can see the front door. Okay. Um, there's an empty room to the right, isn't there? Yep. There's a door to your right, which yes, which does lead to an empty room, because unfortunately the names are all on there, but meh. Yeah. Mm. Well, let's check this out. Yeah, sorry, I just saved room last time. Yeah, no worries. Um, Are there any boxes of soap in the laundry room? Um, yeah, there's some soap. Yeah, they contain soap. Mm-hmm. Well, there might be some soap, yeah. Okay. Is the group with me or are they all sat in the battle? I'm, I'm with you. Okay, well, you two I'm are there. I don't know what... Yeah. She's all good, right, so... I'll... Uh, we're going to the room. Okay, um, it's a large, empty area. There's no furnishings or, um, or anything. The um, the floor has been polished, um, but it is suffering water damage at the edges. It's like sagging. Slightly, yeah. Can I go up to the edges and have a look? Because that seems weird. Are they sagging downwards? Um, not really but there's definitely signs of wear and water damage along all the edges the centre of the room seems actually fine and there's no water damage on the ceiling or along the high walls we could break through the floor into the basement so only the floor is damaged not the walls the co- yeah, along, along the walls at the bottom the uh, there is water damage showing in this room this is but weird. only the bottom part Look at this floor. It's only visible on the floor edges, at least. There might be some damage um, in the walls and whatever, but... What about the interior walls of the house? 
the ones there that have are... been some that there you've noticed some damage but not on everyone okay I mean, on this room in particular, there's two walls that are connected to the outer part of the house. Are the two on the inside of they're the house the in, They're not noticeably different to the inside ones. No. <laughs> no, I mean, there's, the, no, there's no noticeable difference in the amount of damage. It's basically the same. It's only in the bottom of the four walls. Okay. Okay. Um, I think the next part is, is this room is empty. No, we know it's empty. When are you going to say something? Okay. No, it's why it's odd. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I was just noting in general that it's all, oh, okay. all the floor is so damaged. I thought you might know something about architecture. As a soldier, no. <laughs> I'm a soldier who could build things! Build wars. I second. We could, we could break through the floor instead of the doorway and just claim that was damp damage. You're a tinker, sailor, soldier, I tailor. Don't yeah, because that'll work. I don't know if that would even work. And also, you'd have to um, you'd have to position the planks in such a way that it wouldn't be obvious that you'd rip them up. I suppose. Or brag our way through that they were damaged anyway. Okay. So, <laughs> we'll fix that. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> so, do you guys want to try anything, or are we going to go at some extra? Do we just have a quick look around the house first? Yeah, well, we I'm haven't gonna... checked upstairs yet. Yeah. I'm curious. I want to look upstairs and see how badly it's affected up there, damp-wise. Should we, should we clear downstairs first? Well, presumably, it wouldn't be water damaged upstairs if the upper part of these walls aren't affected. Oh well, yeah, yeah but what if the roof was leaking, but we know it wasn't if, because we didn't hear any water leaking. So you want to go straight upstairs? Well, if the roof was leaking, the whole upper part of these walls would be damaged. Okay, so who, who wants to go check upstairs or finish clearing downstairs? Yeah, I think we should go check out upstairs because we've walked around downstairs for at least a little while. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay you move upstairs. Um, you can now see um, three doors um, in front of you up the stairs. The balcony area sort of wraps around the hall. And you can see various rooms and things around the outside of that. There's a door directly to your right. Um, and three doors in front of you, effectively. I'm going to check the door on the far right. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, you went to reveal a seemingly disused guest bedroom. Um... It's fairly, fairly dusty in here. There is still some water damage, and the floors... Actually, now you kind of think of it, the floors are creaking more up here. In fact, the floors weren't creaking at all downstairs, to your mind at all, but now most steps you make go with a creak. Oh, the stairs are not any more creaky. There is water damage up here? There's a little water damage Weird. up here. Yeah. But okay. the um but yeah, every step you take up here on the wooden floorboards does cause creaking. You don't recall that doing it downstairs. Can I have a spot hidden from you as well? Sure thing. Uh it's all just the point of it. I rolled a twenty nine which is a pass. Okay. You notice something odd. There's a small fireplace in the corner, but you've noticed something odd. There seemed to be almost a gap behind the fireplace in the wall. Hmm. Hey guys, come look at this. There's, there's a gap between the fireplace and the wall in here. Well, it's almost as if there's almost a a false wall behind the fireplace. I, um, I stay in the doorway. I really don't look, like the look of that bed. <laughs> <laughs> there are two of them. Do, 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 do. God. <laughs> God, no. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the wall in the fireplace. Yeah, me too. Take a well, look at Well, only one of you can fit through at a time. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm just looking, like, around the um, Connor, I'm assuming he's already there. Um, as you um, touch it, you feel it gives slightly. It's a pushable wall, almost on a 
Yeah, you can you can push it. It's almost a door. You can push it open. I'm gonna I'm gonna push on it. Okay. You. It's quite dark in there, but you see a space. Hmm. I'm going to light my lantern to get a better look. Okay. As you lean closer, dodge roll. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see, dodge. Um, dodge is two times dexterity. I thought it was three times dexterity. It's do- natural dodge is um, dex times two. Oh, okay. Okay. But some skills I've had it's five and three times, but that depends on the difficulty of the skill. The number of uh, multipliers you get. Nope, I fail. I got a 49. Okay. You are whacked by the door and it closes with you now on the inside. <laughs> you fall and as you um, fall, Lantern with you, you come face to face with a dead man. <laughs> Sanity check. Oh god. <laughs> you are um... trapped in a room <laughs> with a dead man. Sanity check. <laughs> Uh, the wall. Ten, I pass. <laughs> you lose two points of sanity. <laughs> oh, sorry, one point of sanity. Look at the wrong thing. All right. Um. Hold on, I've got to go through this. Okay. You see a body. Uh-huh. It's. Yep, it's fairly skeletal. Um, it's missing the fingers on its left hand. Okay. It has no toes. Uh-huh. And there's an old axe um, on the ground beside it. Oh, oh. Toes. Um, are, are there um, any toes? Make another sanity check, to please. Yeah, <laughs> uh, um, I, I failed badly. 95. Have another point of sanity loss. Okay. <laughs> but that's the combined dead body being trapped in a room with dead body <laughs> situational. <laughs> you are the lantern light begins to flicker out. Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> um the I'm rest of you, by ask... the way, the door has closed behind him and you're starting hearing panicked sounds. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna call out for help. <laughs> uh, spot hidden, by the way. Um, in the room. Um, oh, just Connor at this point. Oh, me spotting? Okay. Um, in the dark. Debbie's by the door. I, I got a 99. Yeah, I am. Fail. 99, you fail. Um, panicked, you see scratch marks in the wall where he's obviously desperately tried to get out, including a couple of um, heavy marks which you guess were left by the axe. You hear him panicking in there. <laughs> I try and push the door open. <laughs> Okay, you do. As you push the door open, the light returns. You feel it resisting you, though. The door's trying to swing itself closed. It's obviously on some kind of hinge to do that and lock. I push, push, push against it. <laughs> okay, you're just holding it shut, but being careful of that. Light, res- light returns. Lazarus. Okay. Hurry through, hurry way, on. Um, Debbie? Yeah. I fell, though. You might not be holding it very long, because I need a sanity check first, as you see the dead body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Twenty. Twenty, I imagine, has passed for you. Okay. Yep. You take one point of sanity loss, but okay. you're, you're 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 yeah. This is third, but not enough that you're going to panic and fling the door shut again. Yeah. I'm waiting for um for Lazarus to, to crawl back through to this side. Um, hurry I'm up! Hurry up! The door. Is there enough room move, for me to do move. so? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's enough room. It's just obviously it's a door. You weren't expecting it to automatically swing closed by default. That's the thing. I'm, I'm going to wait a second. Uh, can I grab the axe and run away? Uh, you can grab the axe. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab the axe and bring it with me. It, you're sounding very, very distorted, but but yeah, like you grab the axe and you're now out. Okay. It's his sanity loss. Not for grabbing the axe, no. <laughs> no, his distortion. <laughs> <laughs> You're distorted. Okay. 
you're out and back in the um, guest bedroom. <sighs> Clutching a heavily rusted fire axe. Is it bloody? It's heavily rusted. Hmm. Just the blade or the hilt too? Is it a fire axe? It's Actually, a heavily know. rusted fire axe. Yeah. Well, I think we know where the fire axe from the shed went to. I feel as if that is the fire axe we're looking for. Well, there's one fire axe box in the shed and one fire axe missing from it. <laughs> Can and I have a look at so I can see if there's old stains of blood? Uh... It'd be difficult for you to tell at the moment. All you know is it's heavily rusted. It probably... It, it could have been blood that rusted it, to be fair. Right, um... Dylan would know looking at it, right? He's a doctor. I can't tell it over the rust. Yeah. Um, so. You clean it up, maybe? Yeah, you risk wiping the blood off of it, though. I suppose. Yeah, we found... Should we continue on? Well, I mean... I, what was actually in that room? Connor. Uh, not Connor. Uh, yeah, Lazarus. No, that was very, very, very distorted. I think we're going to have to... Yeah, I think it might have been deliberately stuttering. <laughs> I know, but it was distorted was, as well. I was deliberately stuttering that time, yeah. yeah. Although it's still kind of bad. <laughs> Here, You're not look at my internet if it's being wibbly. Hold up a second. Oh, nice. No so over to Debbie. <laughs> Yeah. You can well, answer the question now. I think if there was someone, if there was someone stuck in that room, there, all I could see from the entrance was a skeleton. I couldn't see very many details. You noticed the skeleton was missing. Um, let me just what's remember that the corpse had no toes nor fingers on its left hand. Did I yeah. notice if there, if the finger bones and toe bones were on the floor in there? Nope. Go back in and find out, I suppose, but. No, thank you. <laughs> I mean, he couldn't have been hard to get out of that room, surely, if you had an axe in there. That's, you know, the door. You wouldn't think he would have been able to get stuck in there. But. Mm. Um, also, just. Um, Con this is more Connor would realise this rather than Debbie, but there was. He had no light implements at all in there. So it would have been dark in there, but. It would have been pitch black for him. Mm. So the guy might have got stuck in there and died. I think we're talking about Arthur here. Mm, guy, well, um, we can't assume that. Well, I mean, I mean, well, I'm more thinking of Arthur Corwin rather than Arthur Corf Cornflake. Well, we can't assume that either. I know. We just know that he went missing. We don't know. We're after going is. crazy and murdering people with an axe. We, we don't know you what can was, probably when... assume it's not um, it's not corn right he wouldn't have decomposed anywhere near that fast in two months no no but still hmm. okay right I'm gonna check in the um, the room next to the guest bedroom then okay I'm back sorry about that the internet. yeah no worries uh, the the situation has basically been explained, and they've kind of established it probably isn't um, isn't corn right, based on the fact there, um, and he had no light making implements, so he was alone. He was stuck in the dark there, so he might not even realise where the way out was. Hmm. And in any case, you know from when you were in there, that door doesn't have a way of being opened from the inside. Nope. Mm -hmm. But still, axe door. Well, he did try. You know, he has, you know, he axed the wall. You know that. There, there were, there were claw marks and axe marks. So, hmm. yep. oh, okay, okay. So you move into the bedroom across. Doesn't you see an expensively furnished room, um, which contains a lot of clothing, personal effects. Um, several valuable objects um, you can see in here just straight away. A gold-plated cigar case, a diamond tie-pin. Um, you also note the ceiling is damp. 
And water is dripping slowly down. The fireplace um, is also... A diamond... Yeah. Sorry. There's a, a diamond, diamond type in. Diamond type in. The fireplace is also showing moisture around the edges. Um, also, near the fireplace, you see... You see some disassembled shotgun cartridges. The apparent the powder in the um, the buckshot has been scooped out and separated into small piles. This all directly in front of the fireplace. Um, directly in front of the fireplace, you also see a pair of fluffy blue men's slippers. Hmm. I'm gonna guess this guy has been making his own shots and his own loads. Spot hidden, please. Well, uh, all of us. Yes. Uh, fail. Oh, fail. Um. I failed. None of you succeed? No. Should I roll? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need yeah. to roll here. <laughs> 68. That doesn't sound like a pass. <laughs> <laughs> Spot hidden, no 45. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you this. This is out of character knowledge, so you can't act on it. But there are three things you have to fo- spot here with spot hidden. <laughs> <laughs> but um, okay, you don't spot any of it. We're all oblivious. Um, I'm I'm gonna attempt to uh, steal the diamond type in. Very well, you pick it up. Hooray! I'm gonna go look at the cigar case. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, okay, it's gold. Probably can not gold plated either. This up. is this is at the same fireplace, the dead bodies well, behind. This is just in his room. There's a lot of um, expensive clothing here as well. In the guest bedroom? No, this is no, the this master is the bedroom. Master bedroom. Oh, okay. Hmm. Can I open up the cigar and go see what's inside? Um, strangely a cigar. Hmm. <laughs> is, it, is it okay? It looks I want, I want to check out these rounds of buckshot. Okay. I guess I'll stow it in. Um, well. Yeah, they just he just looks like for whatever reason he separated out um separated out the um the, the shell casings and um the um the ammo and everything. You don't know what he could possibly have been doing with this, but he was dismembering them and yeah. It about, like there's about nine to disassemble here. It's like a pretty odd thing just to leave lying on your floor. It was on the floor. going to go it? away. Hmm. Well, just to like, leave lying around anyway. It's kind of, I mean, some obvious uh, daisy. And, I mean, I don't think... I don't know, possibly this all just happened after he left, but I mean leaving your room when it could fall into this sort of state of disrepair after this amount of time I mean again that doesn't seem very sensible <laughs> I'm going to poke around in the fireplace can I have another spot hidden from you then since you're looking directly at the fireplace uh, ok uh, checking that yeah failed again ok Yep, it's a fireplace. There's no false um, behind this one. Is there a, de- a desk in here? Um, yeah, where he's basically disassembled all of the shotgun. Okay, can I go look through the desk then? Uh, you don't find too much of any particular note, really. Just the shells. Mm. And a few oh, yeah. ba- and a few basic tools which he probably would have used to dismantle and reassemble the shells. Yeah. That, I mean, if I hazard a guess, eh? They work out if the shells were done in a timely fashion, or if they've been spread about as a, in a panic. The um, idea roll. One second. A twenty. That's going to be a pass. I think it's a seventy. Yeah. Um, all of the um components have been separated into neat piles. You would guess from that he probably was planning, rather than rushing. I think we're really out of the ordinary here. Hmm. What else is around in the room? Um, not much really. I mean, there's lots of clothing, but the, I te- guess the ceiling I'll, is also I'll damp invest- and is dripping down slightly. And also, it's quite I'll damp around the fireplace. 
I'll also investigate the fireplace, seeing as the last one had uh, hit. Okay, spot hidden for you. Huh? Spot hidden for you. Alright. Uh, six, that's a definite pass. There's a translucent stain on the fireplace. Around the back. Hey guys, there's um, there's a translucent stain on the fireplace around the back <laughs> over here. Uh, any idea what it is? There's a Paris in the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, now it's been pointed out to you, yes, there is a stain of some kind there. Yep, yeah, that's what's trying to find out these knows what it is. Um, make a biology check. Oh, damn. Both of us? Because I'm also uh, in the fireplace. It, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm also technically in the um, fireplace. I mean, he just shoved his head in next to mine. <laughs> biology. I passed uh, biology. Okay. I failed. Um. You. Oh, let me just find the relevant bit here. Okay, I put a tick. That's a 47. Yeah, yeah, you can have a tick for biology. I don't really expect to improve that. <laughs> It's it's possibly some kind of slime mold, or f maybe a fungus. But it's it's you're not you're not sure. Something's happened here. But it seems as if it's some plant material, <laughs> or a, or slime, whatever it is. All uh, right, it's yeah, some sort of unidentifiable, possibly. Fungus. I mean, is it? Can I take any? Can I like pick it, touch it, and like take any? You could take some of it, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and take some. And then we know from this point on that it was Howard Horker that actually discovered penicillin. <laughs> <laughs> not there, not there. But um. Okay, while that's going on, um. You also kind of notice that there's some dents in the um, in the back of the fireplace while you're doing that. Um, you would guess possibly somebody fired a shotgun at the um, fireplace. This in stone, right? So it would have to be something yeah. pretty forceful. Probably from quite close range. No um, residue or anything left. There is a little bit of residue, um, but you, you kind of miss. It, it might not be anything. It's basically the fireplace. What's left in the fireplace isn't much. Right. I mean, if you wanted to, if you had a lab and could analyze it, you might be able to work out what, whether there was something unusual or something there. But you know. Yeah, we haven't really got the sort of resources for this. All right. Well, I'll notify anyway. Possible uh, shotgun action going on down here. Alright, have I collected some of the gold? Well, there are shotgun shells in the room. Wait, are those, uh, those shotgun shells, like, have they been, like, uh, battered? Like, have they looked like they've been used before? No. They're new. Well, you'd guess they're new. Alright. I wonder if they he's, he's, not, he's not reloading um, empty shell casings, if that's what you thought. Yeah. Okay. Um, have a quick search for the clothes. I see anything. Okay. And you don't find anything in the clothes. So is this... Um... I just collected some of this fungus stuff. Nothing special has gone on with it yet. You can't tell. Whatever it is, it's just the residue. It's not even a thing. It's, not, it? even, it's, it's not even the fungus itself. It's what's left behind. Yeah. All right. Should we investigate the stuff? Oh, I just had a really weird idea. Though it wouldn't, it wouldn't make really any sense. So I'll keep it to myself. <laughs> okay. You sure, Dylan? What was it? Well, no, I mean, it wouldn't make any sense unless I knew I was in a like a setting which involved like creatures and stuff. <laughs> Actually, can I check you under the bed? You kind of do know that, by the way. You've seen you've seen weird things. One weird thing, anyway. Sorry, what did you say? Steve? Can I check under the bed? 
you notice the man there's... afraid of beds. <laughs> he checks under the bed. <laughs> you do notice something is rolled da- to the back. It's a it's a grey cylinder of some kind. It's larger than a shotgun shell. I, I call over. I call over and say I spotted something. You can just about reach it to pull it out if you want. I, I suppose I'm going to go for it. Well, look, you I, notice I, I, that the floor under the bed is damper than it than the area um, in the room. The, the the floor is wet, by the way, but it's wetter somehow, almost sticky under the bed. I grab the tube thing first. Yep. Okay, I'm going to go for you, that. Yep, you got it. And then I'm going to put my hand on the sticky and stuff and bring it back. Okay, it's. It's some kind of greenish transparent residue. You have pulled out um, something that is from the kitchen, the missing salt container. Uh, guys? Yeah? Uh, come on, what is this? It, this is a green weird stuff, and I've found the salt shaker. Biology Two check. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm doubling your biology score for this one. <laughs> because it should really be an idea roll, but carry on with it anyway. Sorry, is that my my? my... Sorry, no. Um, what we decided to do with the salt shaker? Um, well, I was get, I was making you have an idea roll first. Oh, okay. Oh, pass sixteen. What he's brought out is the same type of residue that you saw in the fireplace. Right. Well, <laughs> I'm starting to uh, think about this plant thing that. Uh, Benny was going on about the process. Well, uh, it would, you didn't see anything like this on the roof or anything, did you? I don't. What do you mean? Um, which what room? I saw? When you oh. when you looked after where the you you saw the thing during the we night. Saw, we saw moss, but um, by the way, under the bed is stickier. It's really really wet, like <sighs> ridiculous. I'm going to take a look at the salt container. It's virtually empty. There is a little still left. Is there... hmm. Can I toss some of the salt onto the um onto the weird sticky When I know anything about like the effect that salt has on plants. If it has any normally. It doesn't um putting the extra on doesn't seem to do a lot. Shadow? Hmm, sorry. Would I know anything about the effect of salt on plants, or is this something? That would be common knowledge, wouldn't it? That, like, salt kills grass and stuff? Salting the earth to prevent crops from growing, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, possibly some sort of preventative measure? That obviously didn't work, unless... I don't know. (laughs) Some sort of, like, blood splatter from one of these plant things. Could that explain why the bloke ordered a dump truck full of salt? I wouldn't resort to... If I had a house, I wouldn't really salt the floors. <laughs> it's then I'm going to allow you to make another spot hidden check as you are looking at the floors. All, All of us? Well, he is, specifically, because he just met, brought them up. So you can have another spot hidden. Oh, is that me, sorry? Yep. Whoa, five. You notice there is a definite line of salt along the window sills and along the doors entrances in this room. I definitely point that out. We've spotted something, guys. Oh, the um, Debbie's timed out. I think. Oh, it's time. Find it, yeah. yeah, I point out. Right. Do you see this line of salt on the windows? It's like there. Some sort of... Why? Why would someone waste good salt like that? <laughs> it's strange, though. Defensive. There's measure? salt. It's 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 uh, come to anyone think how the how priests bless houses that they put like mark things and holy water crosses. You hear a noise outside. It sounds like a cat screeching. Like dying screeching. Almost as if a cat has found something, another cat in its its territory screeching. <laughs> Pretty much. 
A dense fall <laughs> silence mid hiss. Can you look out the windows? You don't see anything. You know it came from out around the uh, the back door. Are we at, can we see you over the back door from here? No, you're I'm, upstairs in the master bedroom. Well, I mean through I'm, the window. I'm gonna have a, a can't see through the window for that. Fine, and right. not like that sound. Well, you don't. Mm. We're well, not rushing downstairs. Go take a look. I honestly don't want to know. There's something weird. Hey, you can stay yes. in the master bedroom for the rest of the session then. <laughs> All right, someone's going to check this out. I'm going down. I'll follow him. Yeah, there's no way after discovering that that I'm not following the group. Okay. <laughs> You're back down in the hallway. Head towards the back door. Okay. You enter the kitchen and spot nothing seemingly has changed. However, now you have gone back downstairs... The floorboards have stopped creaking again. Hmm. They're, they're only the upstairs floorboards appear to creak. There must be something supporting the floor. It's about to happen, right? Like something actually like pressed up against it. At least I'd think so, anyway. So, I mean, the screeching came from outside. Not downstairs. Do you guys want to go and investigate that? Alright, okay, kick open the back door. I'm gonna draw my weapon. Okay, you're drawing your gun. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna draw my weapon as well. I'm staying well away from him too. I have no weapon, so well I have a I have a scalpel, it's my best <laughs> weapon, so <laughs> Okay. As you step outside you see a figure in a trench coat holding an axe. Yeah, As you step outside gun, with a gun, yeah. he looks shocked and just pulls, out, pulls the axe up, almost scared. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I tell him to drop the axe. You know, like... <sighs> yeah. He eventually drops the axe. Oh my god. Oh, I really hate this place. <sighs> yeah, I... Like, Sorry. Right. Sorry, give me a moment. <sighs> I holster the gun. <sighs> Don't host your mine as well. Don't host your guns. <laughs> He's a lanky uh, man in a trench coat. I'm gonna reach for his axe. <laughs> well, the axe is basically dropped to his side. It's a big thing. No, I'm just gonna pull it away from him. <sighs> it's, it's, also, it's also it rustic. Are <sighs> oh, you scared the absolute daylights out of me? <sighs> what are you doing, chopping a cat up? What? We heard a cat oh, screech out a, here. I just heard the cat. I went. <sighs> oh, I searched for it. I was actually looking for you, fellas. Uh, what, who are you? Um, uh, Joe Varelli. Uh, <coughs> uh, Gamble Gazette. Hmm. What are you doing here? Uh, well, I was investigating why you were looking into the old, the old estate. I wasn't expecting you to come flying out with a gun after hearing that. Well, you were the one wielding an axe. You hear a cat screeching like that? You see a weapon on the ground? You're going to try and defend yourself. This place gives me the creeps. There's a weapon on the ground? I just found it among some... random bushes. I don't know. I didn't think much of it. I just, you know... I wasn't going near... I wasn't going on that, hearing that, without having something. Wait, 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 wait. You found the axe near which bushes? Oh, some, somewhere back there. He just points vaguely um, behind him into some of the foliage and tangled vines. It's it's a largish axe, actually. Probably for probably for actual wood cutting. Okay, I'm going to take this axe with me. Is there any blood on it? Um, it's okay, rusted it. over, but doesn't seem to be any. Okay. That's two of these we've found now. Well, if it was used <sighs> on the cat, then it would, you know... Have fresh blood on it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think the cat's alright. <laughs> no, it might be dead. It's just that he didn't do it. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going back home. I will ask, I'll, I'll, I'll see you in the evening. Can't hang you this much now. Alright, I, 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 do you want me to just, just look at you quickly? The, um, the rain is kind of slowing down, but it's now about lunchtime. Alright. Right. I want to... Bam, I'm gonna you have the axe on me from now on. I wanna go ahead and uh 
look around the foliage and I'm going to start cutting into this foliage with the axe. Okay. You begin chopping at vines. They kind of fall. It's heavy work, but you don't feel you're accomplishing very much. <laughs> and there's been things going missing in the garden and things appearing, so I want to sort of search through the foliage. Okay. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go investigate where he said he found the axe. We well, didn't really um, give any episode. Yeah, it's basically a lot of rose bushes and a couple of odd plants you don't recognise. Doesn't appear to be a lot here, but given you found um, there are some chopped trees in the nearby vicinity, it's not out of the question that there might have been a a large axe for chopping down trees here, if you get me. Yeah, so nothing out of the ordinary. It's not complete... Well, it might still be out of the ordinary, but it's not completely beyond the realms of possibility that there might have been one. Mm. So do you guys want to go back and have a look for a bit more before we disappear back to town? We... Maybe, maybe we should hack down the door with the axe. That's... Look, we've got nowhere else to look. We've got the rest of the house to look. At least in the other nutso place, we explored everything before trying to break stuff down. Did we break stuff down in the end, didn't you? Oh yeah, we did. I guess. Very we well. Down. I say we explore the rest, try to find something. If not, then we can hack down the door. Alright. I've already fair. found some clues already in that bedroom. We might find more. Clues that point us to nonsense, though. <laughs> but no, I would it was weird, but it kind of makes... Debbie, where are you at this point? I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, you've got slightly <laughs> separated from separate the group, from hanging the group. around the back of the house. <laughs> Spot hidden. Okay. You're the closest to the house at this point, by the way. I'm, up, I'm in the back of the house? Well, yeah, you're, you're all at the back of the house, because that's where you just left off. You're the closest to the house. Okay, 23. Yeah, I've around the bushes. 23. You see something move behind you. I As you turn, turn to face it, you see something okay. slink away at high speed in the house. Wait a minute, behind me as in out towards the yard? Or behind inside you the in house? the house, through the open door. Something just moved very fast. Oh, so I'm hovering around the door to the yeah, outside. Well, that's, you notice movement behind you. Turned, you saw something just moving around the bottom of the door. The bottom of the door. Yep, and moving very fast to the right. Something small or something tall. You didn't see enough of it to know. You just saw. You just sensed the movement turned and saw something moving away from it. Hmm. Look at the eye. I walk towards it and peek around the corner. Oh god. Trying to You're be stealthy. going alone. Luck roll. Luck roll. 25. Okay. You just look up in time to spot to um, have an attempt to dodge what's about to happen to you. But first, sanity check. Okay. 50. Is that a pass? Mm hmm. Okay, no sanity lost. Um, a flexing, dripping, snaking coil of moist gel yeah. um, forming around is forming around the door frame and pointing out towards you, almost going straight for your face at this point. Dodge. I hope you dodge. Twenty-one. What's your dex? Uh, what's your dodge skill? Eight. Uh, my dodge skill. Dexterity is eight. Yep, so that's a fail. Dodge okay. skill. The gel is now 16. around your neck. And is beginning to strangle you. Can I scream at least? It's, um... Oh, that's what we're going to check in a moment. First off, though, I've got to roll some damage as it begins crushing your windpipe. And it's still spreading out, seemingly 